I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on area of rectangle and distributive property. Now this principle is used in middle school to understand how do we multiply polynomials. The question here is, the area of a rectangle is 9x plus 6. Find possible perimeter of this rectangle. Four choices are given to us. How do we solve such a question? So we are given a rectangle. Just let me make one here. Now remember, for a given area, you could have different answers for perimeters, right? That's kind of important to understand. Now let us see how to solve such a question. We are given area as equal to 9x plus 6. Do you see any common factor between 9 and 6? Yes, 3 is a common factor. So we can write this as 3 times 3x plus 2. Now clearly, if you apply the distributive property, then 3 times 3 will give us 9, so we get 9x, and 3 times 2 will give us 6. So that works. It really means that if I have a rectangle whose one side is 3 and the other side is 3x plus 2, then that rectangle will represent this particular area, correct? So what I'm trying to say here is that this particular rectangle whose sides are 3 as the width and 3x plus 2 as the length gives me the same area as in the question. Correct? So we could split this. Now, since we have done so, we know for our rectangle, we have width of 3 and length of 3x plus 2. So we need to find a possible perimeter. So what should be the perimeter? Perimeter is 2 times length plus width, right? So let's add them up and multiply by 2. So length is 3x plus 2. And we are going to add 3, the width to it. So we get 2 times 3x plus 2 plus 3 is 5. And when you multiply 2 times 3x, we get 6x plus 2 times 5 as 10. So that becomes the perimeter. And amongst the options given, C is the option which matches. Do you see that? So that is how we can correlate area of a rectangle with this perimeter even when we have polynomials given as shown here in this example. I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. I request you to look into another video where we have discussed many examples, real life situations, where area of rectangle and distributive property helps to solve many questions. I hope that helps. Thanks for your time and all the best.